Hi, I'm Marietta and today I'm doing the predictions for all star signs for the 1st to the 15th of April 2023. I'm going to do it a bit differently. I shuffled all the cards. Then the last time, April is a very important month and the first prediction that I'm going to look at is for Capricorn. And by now you will know what Capricorn is all about. And I'm using also some other elements to really have a good look at some other symbols that are important for you. First of all, Capricorn, you're turning your back on something that you've built with a lot of love or a lot of input emotionally. It can be a relationship, it can be a work, and somehow you have decided to turn your back on all of this and go into a new direction. Be careful, however, because suddenly you charge forward as the Knight of Swords, which is very logical and very quick and without thought. And you go forward with also the knowing that you have your family as your support system, a very strong family base that is very protected and has a lot of joy and there is a lot of protection. As I drew the little angel from my um, little plate here, that came to you plus a cat so and some diamonds and a little shell what that means for me is that at the moment you need to know that you are very protected you have an armor that protects you but also a sword to make clear decisions but to also Go forward, take a step back and not rush too much because we are going into a Mercury retrograde, which is an Aries, which is very fast. And it's a very important month as well because we are having an eclipse on the 8th of April. Here's also a lot of worry at night where I want you to not overthink tomorrow but to stay in the now and to take a step forward, yes, to wanting to move forward, yes, but to keep a cool mind. This then from the 1st to the 15th of April for Capricorn and there is collaboration most likely in your new work or in a new situation stay grounded and the cat is also for your spirit self to really know that you are protected guarded and rely on your faith for further steps forward otherwise you will cause hurt to your circle of family this then for capricorn the next one is Aquarius. Aquarius, prediction for the 1st to the 15th of April for Aquarius. Aquarius, first of all, what it's saying here is you need to stay put. I have two major corners and a smaller corner here on the table which means that two situations or the two cards initially are saying to me that you need to use your intuition 
your faith, not book knowledge, to go into a new beginning which is double confirmed with the fool and the magician. The fool is also something that goes forward, who goes forward with a leap of faith and um, not with much baggage. So that's very important and that there is a king of swords, which means a very mature person who makes decisions, even like a government or a lawyer or a decision that is being made legally, but you are going into a full new beginning, which means you have everything at hand that you need, and it seems like there's also a decision that could have to do about falling pregnant, as I have pulled a little baby out here, and an elephant, which is an ancient symbol of knowledge and intuition and old wisdom, with a little rose quartz, which means it all needs to be done in faith, in love, in trusting the universe and not putting all eggs in one basket financially, but having more faith and love and trust here for the decision of a baby with ancient knowledge. So even if you fall pregnant unawares or with dedication here and focus that it still has to do and it has to do with an old soul and that you use wisdom and not just pure logic. This then for Aquarius, this is a general prediction for Aquarius. Now we do for March. March from the 1st of April to the 15th of April. This is a general prediction. If you want a private reading with me, Marietta, then please go to my website, mariettatjenison.com. <clears throat> March is Pisces. Let's have a look for Pisceans, what we have on the table here. Pisceans need to really look at order, stability, also at going for some advice or teaching to a priest or to a wise person or going for new learning and to actually respect old order or an old order of religion or teaching because what shows up here is that your patience for money and for creativity out of your work situation and out of what you put together in your trade or your business or your work at the moment is turned upside down, which means there's a weakening of your security and stability. As in April, it seems that you feel stabbed in the back by a situation here, also that it's an ending and a new beginning to maybe something new where you need to respect the old order where you maybe need to learn something new very traditionally or very traditionally but spiritually as well, which can be anything but that you put yourself into the position of saying, I don't know. Plus it has to do with work, but also in your feelings that you're at the moment making decisions very much according to old traditions, which will not serve you as it brings you suffering and pain. And um, suffering and pain you cause for others, 
and then for yourself. And it has to do in terms even of money, pentacles in other words, money in other words, in your work situation, business situation, be aware that there is an ending and a new beginning, plus that it has to do with your heart, your feelings, your emotions, and that you cause yourself and others heart so if you go in this direction. So knowing that you have that we have Mercury retrograde in Aries for the whole of month of April, make decisions for a relationship, and this is not so much a special relationship as most likely a relationship of um, you and a child. This then for March from the 1st to the 15th of April. And now I will do a prediction for Aries. Aries is, this is for you from the 1st of April to the 15th of April, a general prediction. Remember that we have Mercury in retrograde. We also have Saturn, Mars, and Mars conjunct, and being in Pisces, and a lot of things will be unexpectedly changing within the month of April, May, June. Completely unexpected, and Saturn and Mars in Pisces, and then Mercury in Aries is very much predictive as well for Jupiter conjunct Uranus and Taurus for wars, legal battles, um, and also a very big conflict between light forces and dark forces, ego forces. Let's have a look for Aries. Aries, at the moment, you are at a point of choices, which could also mean that you um, are in a triangle or on crossroads, and all your cards are actually turned the other way around, which means that, and I normally don't have it like that, so at the moment, there is for me, a matter of that you have to juggle more than one project. You have to be careful how you go forward in your life and that you cannot take a leap of faith at the moment because you have to focus on specifics and you are on crossroads and you are at the moment very much in your mind, mature in your mind, and you might go and see a lawyer for certain decisions here or have somebody who gives you legal advice on your new path here or on that you make a new decision in a work situation. But I would not just jump over a cliff before not getting legal advice here and staying with both feet on the ground and knowing that you actually need to value and have gratitude for what you have at the moment, because that will give you more groundedness, more gratitude, more blessings, more centeredness. And also, yes, it will polish off your personality in a way that you will be more mature more thinking about how you want to take this crossroad and not just running out of a situation because you feel you're overwhelmed by too many projects. So this then for Aries, and now I will do a reading for May, which is Taurus. Taurus from the 1st of April, to the 15th of April, this is your general prediction 
If you want a private reading, please go to mariatatinison.com, which is my website. This then from the 1st of April to the 15th of April. Taurus, you're at the moment very, very much in confusion and you don't know everything. I would also be very careful how you drive, how you steer your life at the moment between yin and yang, how you use your energy to stay in balance as you charge too quickly forward, which might also mean that you at the moment charge too quickly forward because you are staying in your more immature nature and taking decisions too fast and too egotistical and too fixed instead of being solid sure but more kind, more nurturing of self, more passionate and compassionate about other people and allowing the confusion to settle and guide you slowly as it seems that the solar eclipse has a very big effect on you by the 8th of April and also puts you into questioning of where are you at? So you might even have a lot of fears, a lot of nightmares, a lot of feelings of insecurity, maybe even sickness, um, no well-being, drive carefully, do not charge forward. The advice is look after your own heart, take things from a compassionate standpoint, stay grounded to have a union in being grounded physically, emotionally and spiritually and that you focus more on feelings of compassion for others and not wanting to rush forward either very physically in your car or any kind of transportation, or then that you just want to run forward, charge forward because you want success and you want victory, but that you actually sit back and know that you cannot know everything and that one cannot push away your emotions of fear of having nightmares, of having to look at your dark side of your personality. This then for Taurus from the 1st of April to the 15th of April. Now for Gemini, a general prediction for Gemini. Gemini, let's have a look where you are at. At the moment, it's very important that you keep balance between all forces and that you stay in balance. It also seems that at the moment, your money side of your the promotion, the ideal of what you expect either promotion or a payout or a loan. And for a creative endeavor or for being supportive here of somebody who is busy with creativities and who is maybe abundant but pregnant and creative and you need to balance out the money and your emotions which is very important here, as I feel that you 
are not aware at the moment that your foundations are shaky in your whole life and that you really need to be cautious not to make decisions too fast, but to stay in balance, to use your inner wisdom and the past as wisdom, your experiences from the past, use those to make decisions for the future, plus that you also know that you need to have clear thinking and that you need to be very aware of what you want to birth going forward. And it could be really a child or a new project, but it needs to be done cautiously as you will not expect that you sudden have like lightning hitting a tower that your foundations are being pulled out underneath your feet. So a sudden pregnancy, a sudden non-arrival of the promotion or what you were expecting is kicking your feet out underneath your um, stability and your foundations. So take care, keep the balance, stay in faith, breathe with every occasion that you keep balance and that you stay moderate and that you know that change is inevitable because that's the only thing that is guaranteed for us plus death. But I don't see death here, don't worry. But what I mean with that is change is inevitable, change can hurt, but normally change is there for a reason. And outside circumstances, we cannot change, but we can change our attitude, our thinking, our reactions, our behaviors, and not reacting, but acting from faith, from strong being values, and from clear intentions without wanting to use the lower emotions like jealousy, greed, um, revenge, etc. So this then for Gemini. And now I will do a general prediction for Cancer. Cancer, July people mostly. I will give you a prediction after I shuffle these cards. for the 1st to the 15th of April for Cancerians. Cancerians, what I see at the moment is that you will find a lot of peace by having a pet around, mostly, most probably a dog or a cat. And I see a cat double here. So I have the feeling that healing will come through pets that you have in your home or that you love from those cats that are coming over from your neighbors and that you actually stand still and smell the flowers if you can, because I also see the branch here. There's also an olive branch that is being reached out to you from somebody that might be not um, resonating with everybody, but it seems like there are people who are coming back into your life that suddenly are supporting you where you're at. And I still feel you will find a lot of love and support from your pets and especially a cat. Heal your own heart because the stone that I pulled is a green one, which means it's your heart chakra, which is also your chakra for your compassion, your love, your healings, your giving nature, divine love, 
and obviously also the physical heart. Let's have a look for Cancerians. Cancerians, at the moment, you're charging forward too fast. Be a bit mature and just look at what you have and value at the moment the stability and the security that you have in your home. Again, here is a dog in this card and that everything is good between the family as such and even the old man in front. In other words, see the spiritual side of your life as being very much protected, very much guarded and guided. And even if you feel that you make decisions against the heart or that old wounds are here to be healed, know that you can be in faith and in gratitude to enjoy nature around you. Here's now a bird that you can let fly or you can hold it on your arm um, so that there is a lot of freedom and a lot of abundance and that you're surrounded by a lot of love and financial security and that you do not have to worry about that and don't charge forward immaturely but first in April just take a breather stay put and value the things around you and nature around you and the freedom to make this choice this then for cancer from the 1st of April to the 15th of April. Now for Leo. Leo is mostly in August. Leo, this is your general prediction, not a personal one, from the 1st to the 15th of April. Leo. Leo, the first card on the table is that you need to really work at your craft or that you are going to learn something new, that there are certain decisions that are being made against the heart, but guard against making too quick decisions, as here's also the card of the Hierophant, which might mean first go for some counseling if that's necessary to then decide where you want to take your path. It has definitely to do with the lovers, which is a card of crossroads and choices. And I would first of all really address this situation before you make a decision with somebody who can give you advice, who can guide you um, with more knowledge and wisdom towards your path in regards of your choices that you're making. You might have also just finished certain studies and starting something new because I have a Ace of Wands here in a branch which I see like a new beginning where you can actively move into. But I also see that you need to value the old, the old wisdom, like an elephant has old wisdom and is very wise and brings very old groundedness and old ancient wisdom into your life. So be open for being guided, for being advised from a more spiritual person, but also with a lot of wisdom and knowledge, because knowledge and experience gives wisdom. Through experience, we gain wisdom. So be very cautious in your decisions and work hard at your work situation or your craft or decide 
whether you want to actually work in collaboration with somebody. That then for Leo, for the 1st to the thir- to the 15th of April, I'm sorry. So now for Virgo. Virgo is mostly in September. This is for the 1st to the 15th of April. For Virgo. At the moment, what I pick up is that Virgo needs to breathe, needs to get over the feelings of panic, which is symbols to the devil card. Um, Panic is pan. Peter Pan is staying in Never Never Land, Never Ever Land, or staying a child in an adult world which will not bring growth. So it also says panic is has to do with, pan has to do with addictions. To be very aware of where your life is at the moment, to make decisions more for being supportive for your mental health, as it seems that there will be a feeling of that there's not a win-win situation and that you might need to guard here and to ask somebody for advice or to have spiritual advice or to go into your inner self and really resonate or tap into your intuitive wisdom to then have a new beginning, which is shown in the Ace of Rods. The Ace of Rods says new beginnings. You will also, what I see here is having to stay grounded with a garnet of a little crystal, plus it is being crossed by an angel, which says you're very guarded, very protected, and you need to ask for protection during this month. And it's important that you surround yourself as well through your pets and nature and wait for the ships to come in. Money-wise, look after your mental health. Count to 10 before you start an argument Rather leave the argument and leave it as such as it seems that anyway in Mercury retrograde, which we have in Aries, we might say things that we don't want to say. So keep grounded. Look that you look at your habits that you want to change for your mental health. And know that by the 15th of April, it seems that you're really going into a good new beginning where everything buds here and comes into spring, so to speak. But the ships will come in and it's a very light card with brightness. So the sun is very much part of this new beginning. So keep faith, stay grounded, Know that you are a human being, spirit having a human experience. The next general prediction is for Libra for the 1st to the 15th of April. Librans like to have peace in life, a balance in life. But often they unfortunately please too many people and then they don't please themselves or they get into trouble because they're not well balanced and they then become resentful and angry with other people as they have not had sound boundaries. 
we have an eclipse on the 8th of April. We have Mercury to grade in Aries for, the, for 25 days till the 25th of April, from the 1st of April. So be aware that a time of Mercury retrograde, it's time to take a rest, to step back, to not make quick decisions, to weigh things up, which Librans are good at. It seems that you complete a cycle, Libra, and that you want to charge forward as you have an offer here that has to do with certain work or a new job opportunity. Um, but I would first complete the cycle as I feel that you still also have some hurts here and your armor is far too high to really make a decision during the first two weeks of April. And what I have here is that you need to get out into the sun and into nature, ground yourself or stand on your lawn, bare feet, and dream a bit about your future as you maybe even move into the world or take a trip into the world for a reason, because at the moment it's necessary that you do not charge forward but that you take a step back and you have a look at the opportunity that you have and you heal your old hurts, which are shown in the Nine of Rods. And that you have the lizard, which is a symbol for dreaming and actually like being out about, out and about in the sun early in the morning or late in the afternoon, but further um, looking for the shade with and not running around during the hottest time of the day to find water because then you wouldn't reach the water, the oasis of water. So do a bit of dreaming, finish off the cycle properly. If it means that you're moving, then you're moving but then take some time out so that you don't overextend your energies and stay grounded and stay clear and know that you have the inner light to give you guidance forward or your faith and heal your old wounds before you make decisions for your heart. Now the next reading general prediction for scorpions for the 1st till the 15th of April. If you want a private reading with me, please go to my website, mariettatjenison.com. Make your booking as the bookings are open for May. Scorpions. At the moment, scorpions might be looking at buying a house or have just bought a house or they're very careful with their money at the moment. But they've got the strength to really have happiness and success. So for me, the advice here is the feeling is focus on the good things in your life that have to do with emotions, with the happiness that you have, the cup that is overflowing, that you have the strength and the power always to even open the mouth of the lying without force, that you are passionate about all life on earth that you need to keep the balance. There's a sign of infinity and that you do not have to be a miser, but that you can give to the poor and be kind and passionate and compassionate and also giving to the needy and having a bigger vision 
than just for yourself, as you have the power to do so. You have unblocked the chains that you that were keeping you in the past and you have clear sight of going forward and a lot of protection by this clear little crystal that will also give you and support you in your strength in your empowering process with being a gentle and kind person and knowing that the material world don't cling to it even if you have moved house be focusing on the things that you cannot buy with money or cannot yeah you cannot buy with money you will not take the money along so be not frivolous in spending your money but be also not so such a miser with money so enjoy this these two weeks even with the changes coming in and feeling maybe very tight but also very free of the shackles that were binding you in the past and that now you have a time a short time of true happiness and a cup overflowing and be grateful for that last but not least the prediction for Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th of April 2023 if you want a private reading with me please go to my website marietatiernison.com Sagittarius General prediction from the 1st to the 15th of April. First of all, recognize that you have created a harmonious home with stability and loving people around you. And that at the moment you have a lot of cups that you can look at and choose what you really desire as there will also be, by the middle of April, celebrations of people coming together of same spirit and maybe meeting up with people from the past, kindred spirits, and that you do not have to make decisions at the moment going forward, but just being in the state of come into yourself and into your intuition and know that at the moment you can dream, you can have desires and hopes and faith that your life will be turning out well and that you do not really need to take a stand at the moment need to make decisions at the moment although you know that you will go forward after the middle of april needing to take certain logical decisions you don't need to take them at the moment what i have here is the stone of healing so it's all about healing for you staying grounded and listening to your intuition although you cannot tap into your intuition at the moment so live moment to moment and know that uh, yeah here's also a child that's very important in your life or your own child or a grandchild that has 
a lot to do with your harmony and balance in your situation of being very harmonious, settled, and um, safe in your home environment, and that you don't need to fear, but heal your heart in giving to others, in being compassionate, in serving the bigger good, and knowing that the time will come after the 15th of April, where you might then, with logic and clear mind, make decisions of how to go forward. This then, for now, I wish you a good, a safe, uh, insightful time for the next two weeks in April. Till next time, God bless.